If you're looking for the perfect styling product pair for your unique curls, then keep on watching. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Gina and here I make videos all about naturally curly hair. I love doing simplified step-by-step -step tutorials, talking about product ingredients, the science of hair and everything else in between. So let's go ahead and jump in. So when I talk about each of these products, I am going to include which hair type I think that these are best for, but I really struggle with frizz and humidity. So that's sort of the theme with the products that I chose here. I really like strong hold and I also deal a lot with humidity and frizz. So these are going to be products that are going to hold up for a long time in your curls. So I'm first starting with one of my all time favorite gels and that's the Weedad Advanced Climate Control Stronger Hold Gel. This is the stronger hold version. They do have a light hold version. I cannot stand that one. It does not give me any hold at all. You need the one in the red bottle if you want hold and frizz protection. So I always get asked, what creams do I like to pair with this gel? This gel in particular is amazing in humidity because it contains multiple polyquat ingredients. That's one thing I always look for. And it also is very moisturizing and it does contain some protein. And it also contains multiple polyquat ingredients, which is one thing that I've noticed really helps keep the curls holding up longer in humidity versus products that just have one. I've just noticed that's a lot better for my hair in particular when there's multiple. Also, this product holds up really well throughout the week, so I don't have to do a ton of refreshing, and it's easy to refresh because it has a very thin, liquidy formula. So you'll notice a theme with all of these gels. That's typically the formula that I go for and that I really like. Sometimes I'll use a thicker gel if I want to just get more grit and volume, but overall I usually go for this more lightweight, liquidy type of gel. So you'll notice that with all of these gels. So for the creams that I like to pair with this, I'm gonna start from the most lightweight to the heaviest version that I have. So this is also from We Dad. This is the Curl Reboot Nourish and Strengthen Leave-In Mask. This is actually leave-in conditioner and I usually use a curl cream. I don't usually use both a leave-in and a curl cream just because I feel like curl creams also provide you with moisture and some styling properties whereas a leave-in conditioner is really just for moisture and then for repairing like damage like that's what this one's for. So that's why I usually just go with a curl cream. But there are times where I will go for a leave-in conditioner if I really want to make sure I'm getting very strong hold and if I don't need a lot of moisture like in the summertime. So that's when I will reach for this one because the more cream and like richness you have underneath your gel, the softer the cast is going to turn out because the more moisture you add to a gel, the softer the cast is going to be. So this is the most lightweight option. This actually says it's for thick and coarse curls. I think they have another version for finer hair if you do have finer hair, but I love that it's labeled for my exact curl type. This is very moisturizing. It doesn't actually contain protein, but it's strengthening. It's really interesting how it works. It's meant to actually repair your hair and help with breakage. So I probably should be using this every time that I style my hair just as a primer, as a base, but it's a very lightweight, milky, consistency. So this is the most lightweight option and it pairs excellent with this. Typically you'll notice that products from the same line or even from the same range within that brand pair really nicely together. But not always though, it's still good to test. Next one is one that I've been featuring a lot recently. This is the Design Me Bounce Me Curl Balm. This is a smaller like travel size version. It comes in a bigger bottle. This you can find on Amazon or on their website. I'm gonna link everything for you down below. But this is actually a really good combination. This product in particular gives you just a tiny bit of hold. So if you're someone that doesn't like gel, you could totally use this on its own, but you definitely get good hold when you compare both of these and they have some similar ingredients, which is why I think they pair so well. This also contains that humidity blocking polyquaternium in it, has very moisturizing ingredients. It's definitely that balm formula. I don't wanna say sticky, but it, you can tell it has a little bit of that gel texture to it, but it is a curl cream. So you can use these together or you could use this by itself. But anytime I notice that the formulas are kind of similar, they pair really nicely together. So this has been a great option. And I would consider that not not as lightweight as something like this, but it's also not super heavy either. It's like between a light and medium weight, maybe more medium weight for reference. Next pair that goes well with the Weed Dad Gel is the Bounce Curl Clump and Define Cream. This is one of my favorite curl creams. I feel like it's an underrated curl cream. I don't share it enough, but this works so well at clumping the curls. It has ingredients that really help to create those like juicy curl clumps. It's crazy. You can definitely tell the difference. This contains some oils in it, so that's why I would consider this one more more of like your medium weight. I don't find it to be super heavy, but if you did have fine hair, you would want to just use a small amount of it, but I don't 
have any problems with it. I use quite a bit of it. It also contains a copolymer in it, which is another ingredient that provides hold. So maybe you could try this by itself if you don't want any hold or you don't want to use the gel, but there's more oils in this. And whenever you have more oils in a curl cream or in a gel, it's going to help seal in moisture. So you're going to get more longevity and a longer moisture cycle in between when you wash your hair. So I do notice the difference when I use this in terms of my curls not drying out by day two and day three. So I hope this explanation is helping just differentiate some of these because I know it can be confusing sometimes when I recommend so many different products. You're like, well, which one should I go with? What are the differences? So hopefully having some details on the screen are helping with you deciding which one is best for you and just different benefits of each. And the very last one that I'm featuring that goes well with the Weed Dad Gel is the AG Recoil Curl Activator. This is a similar consistency to the Design Me Bounce Me Curl Balm in that it's like a curl activator. You can tell there's like more more styling ingredients in these types of creams versus just like purely a cream or a leave-in. But this helps at creating curl definition and that curl bounce. I noticed so much bounce with this. Just like I was saying with the bounce curl cream where it actually creates those juicy curl clumps, like you notice the difference. I also noticed the difference with this one. Very similar effect, but this one I noticed just a little bit more of that bounce back. So when I'm brushing my hair, it's actually springing back up and you get a ton of shrinkage with this. So that's the biggest difference with this one compared to the others is I get a lot of shrinkage. I get those really juicy curl clumps and it also creates those like thicker curl clumps I think because it has a starch ingredient and that's the biggest difference with this one it has starch phosphate I can't pronounce it fully but anytime I notice that you get that texture to your hair that helps really clump the curls. So I hope that makes sense. They're all really great, but this one is probably the most moisturizing, or I don't know, maybe this one, it's tough. These are all medium weight curl creams. This might be a little bit heavy if you use too much. That's the other thing with this one. A little goes a very long way. When you emulsify it, you get like white hands. So you definitely have to just use a small amount. So this would last you a really long time. Same with this one, same deal. It's in a tub. This tub would last you forever. I'm also gonna link you to any content that I have featured these in the description box down below. So if you want to see these in action, see me using them, see my results, you can check out the links below for links to all videos and any posts that I have featuring these products. Next gel that I'm going to be sharing some pairs with is the AG Liquid Effects Extra Firm Styling Lotion. This is one of my favorite gels. This one is a little bit lighter hold compared to this We Dead gel. The formulas are very similar. This one also has humidity blocking ingredients. I'm not sure if it has multiple. I need to check, but very very similar ingredients, but this one does contain a water soluble silicone in it. So that's the other difference. Silicone can actually really help lock out humidity. So if you are really struggling with frizz and you're struggling with that moisture retention, maybe go for this one, but it's a little bit lighter hold. I don't get quite as strong of a cast as I do with this one, but it just depends on how much you use and how much cream is underneath and so many different factors go into the cast level that you get. But I would say this one is a little bit lighter hold. So I typically reach for the AG Recoil to pair with this because it's from the same line. I know they pair really nicely together and you get such great moisture and curl clumps and definition with this. And then this gives you really great hold. And it's also this very thin liquidy formula. So the formulas, like I mentioned, are very similar with the Weed Dad gel. It has a ton of slip, so it's great if you have very tingly hair or if you have very fine hair. I've also paired it with the Design Me Bounce Me Curl Balm. So this pairs really well. I actually featured this in a video I did on how to make your curls look fuller. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to use a light hold product because the less hold you have, the fuller your curls are gonna look and the more hold, the more like PC or stringy your curls can look. So I wanted to use something very light hold. And then I just topped it off with a little bit of this just to give me a little bit of hold or else my curls won't last but a day if I just use a curl cream. So it was a great combination. I really liked it, but I definitely had more like curl clumping with the recoil. So pretty much all of these I think could pair well with liquid effects, all the creams that I've mentioned so far, but I've just tested these two the most and that's what I have content on. So I did want to refer you to these two, but I'm sure any of these curl creams could pair well with that too. So those two gels are ones that I reached for year round, but especially in the summertime. But this gel in particular is amazing in fall and winter and more of your like mild type of temperatures. This is the Curl Smith Curl Defining Styling Souffle. So this product is a souffle, which I still consider a gel, but it has very moisturizing ingredients in it and it's sort of like a whipped texture. So the texture of this is very different. That's how it differs from the rest.
rest of the gels that I mentioned, but it's still very slippery, still a very like liquidy formula to where it's not going to give you that super like sticky producty feeling. This also contains some oils in it, which is why I really like it in the winter time because it's really great for moisture retention. It contains several film forming humectants, which help to pull moisture in, but also trap moisture in your hair so your curls won't dry out. But with this, if you use too much, it can look very stringy. So you do have to be pretty like sparingly when you're applying this. I've heard that from a lot of you guys as well. So I typically will go with Curlsmith creams with it because all the Curlsmith products you can mix and match. So really you can use any of the Curlsmith creams or leave-in, but this one is probably the most lightweight one that I usually will pair with it. This is the Feather Light Protein Cream. So this one has some protein in it. That's one of the biggest differences compared to some of the other creams that I mentioned. Actually, I think a lot of these creams that I mentioned have protein in it. That must be a thing that my curls like. But this does have some protein in it. It's also really great at just defining the curls, clumping the curls, provides really great moisture, and it's probably the most lightweight option that I will pair with the souffle. Because the souffle does have oils in it, if you do have very fine hair, you might want to use a very lightweight cream or leave-in underneath so that way it's not too much of that like rich butters and oils. Next curl cream in terms of weight would probably be the um, Bounce Curl Clump and Define Cream. This is actually a really great combination. I used this for one particular wash day that stands out to me and I remember my curls lasted so long and it was in the winter time so it was a great combo. I think because this one contains some oils and so does this, it really sealed in that moisture. I had great clumps and it helped this look a little less stringy by having the clumping of this. So that was a great combination, really unexpected too. I can link you to that video down below, but I was really impressed. And lastly, with the souffle, I oftentimes will pair the Hold Me Softly Style Balm. So I included this one last because I find this one to be the heaviest out of the options I just shared. This contains a lot more oils in it. This is more of like a medium weight, maybe leaning a little bit heavyweight. If you had fine hair, I probably wouldn't go with this. I would pick something like the Feather Light Protein Cream or even the Weightless Air Dry Cream. Those are more lightweight from Curl Smith but this is a really great moisturizing one and this really helps the coarse areas of my hair be moisturized and just soften up. Next gel is a new one for me and this is the Jesse Curl Spiralicious Styling Gel. I finally found another gel that is Stronghold. I've been searching for more Stronghold gels because that is what I love and I have a hard time finding good quality Stronghold gels. But this one has the most minimal ingredients but also has humidity blocking ingredients which I think is why I like it. And it has more of a milky consistency to it. I guess there's just more moisture ingredients in it which gives it kind of that milky consistency to it but the only thing with this is my curls do feel a little bit dry in between wash days in the winter so I definitely need a very moisturizing curl cream underneath I think this is one of those gels where you get really strong hold but it might feel a little crispy in between washes if that makes sense especially if you have very dry hair so I believe the only cream I've tested under this is the AG recoil and I got really great results and it wasn't too dry when I added this in I need to test this with some more creams perhaps Perhaps it would work with all the other ones I mentioned too. So if you have a good curl cream or a leave-in you like with the Jesse Curl gel, definitely let me know. And I'm sure I could probably even use one of the ones that comes from the Jesse Curl line. I just haven't tried it yet. Moving on to some drugstore options now, I have the Dove Amplified Texture Shine and Moisture Finishing Gel. This is very similar as I mentioned in texture to these. I tend to really go for this very lightweight liquidy texture. This one in particular though is probably the least hold that I have out of all these gels. It's definitely Definitely more of a light hold gel, especially if I use too much cream under it, I have to be very careful. So if you do like a medium to light hold, go with this one and it's super affordable. This is probably the cheapest gel that I have. And surprisingly it's silicone free, which you don't normally find with drugstore products. So the cream that I have paired with this and had great results is actually from Heritage. This is the Ahead of the Curl Curl Cream. This does contain some proteins in it. I would say this is a medium weight cream. It's not too heavy or anything like that. And I got really great results when pairing these together. I think it was a humidity proof summer routine that I filmed. So I can link it for you down below if you wanna see these in action together. Last drugstore combo that I have is the Kinky Curly Original Curling Custard. So this is actually very similar to the Curlsmith Styling Souffle in the formula. It's more of that custard formula, so very moisturizing. A lot of people like to use this type of formula by itself, so you could definitely try that, especially if you want more hold. This one in particular, though, I notice keeps my curls moisturized for a very long time, too, just like this one. And the cream that I got the best 
results with is the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Defining Cream. This contains keratin amino acids, which is great for strengthening the hair, but it's not as strong as like an actual protein ingredient. And this also helps with shine overall and some frizz protection in it because it does provide a little bit of hold. So with these two together, I got really great results. This is probably the best cream that I've noticed good results with this. The reason I don't feature this one quite as much though is because I noticed this one can build up on the hair if you're not properly clarifying or if you're using this cream for every single wash day back to back. I think because it does contain a wax ingredient in it, I'm not sure if they still have that in the latest ingredients. I need to check, but I do notice with the Curl Talk line, it can build up, but it does give you really great texture. So if you do have very fine hair, this would be a good option. So I wish I had more drugstore options to share with you all, but unfortunately it's really hard to find a great drugstore gel. If you have recommendations for a stronghold gel that is not drying from the drugstore, please leave it down below because I would love to test out more affordable options for you guys this year. I just found that when it comes to gel, you really need one that's going to perform, at least for me personally, because I don't want to have to do a lot of refreshing. I don't want my hair to frizz up immediately after scrunching out the crunch. And I find that anytime you get a stronghold gel from the drugstore, it's usually very drying and it's not very moisturizing. They're like those thick formulas that are super drying. So these two gels that I have are probably the most affordable ones that I have that I do actually like. So it's very difficult. So please let me know if you have any recommendations. So I'm gonna list out all of the details and ingredients and what hair types I think these are going to be best for on the blog post that goes with this video, which will be linked in the description box down below. And if you liked this video and you want more product recommendations, I recommend checking out the playlist that I have linked right here on the screen, which goes over my top products in each category. And I also did a top products of 2022 video. So if you wanna see even more product recommendations like shampoos, deep conditioners, and all that, lots more leave-ins and curl creams and oils, then you can check out that video and that playlist as well for more options. So I'll talk to you guys over there. Bye everyone.